Hi, this is Jeff at Magical Fruit Toots. In this Photoshop tutorial, I will show you how to easily make multiple outlines around objects in Photoshop. You can make interesting outline designs with custom shapes, text, or other objects. If you are looking for an image to spruce up your website, or to place in an article, or to use as an avatar on a forum, this is an easy way to create your own design. For example, if you are interested in dogs, use the shape of a dog as the start of your design. Then follow the simple procedure here that will show you how to create the design. You can use a dog custom shape, or cut out a dog picture and use that. Also a dog bone shape would work. All the lines created are vector lines, so you will have a crisp design. To begin, open up a new canvas in Photoshop. I made mine 6 inches by 6 inches at 300 pixels per inch, although just about any size will work. First we'll make a design from a custom shape of a dog. Choose the Custom Shape tool. Select the Shape drop-down from the Tool Settings bar and look for the dog shape and choose it. If you don't have it, click the Settings icon and choose the Animals group. Choose a pen to add the animal's shapes to your presets. Now choose the dog shape. Press D to set up the default black and white foreground and background colors. For this image, make the background black by pressing Alt or Option plus Backspace. Set your brush tool to 100% hard round. I use a size of 10 pixels for this example. Then use the color picker to make number 2C5 FDF, a bluish color, your foreground color. If the Paths panel is not available, choose Windows Path from the menu. Drag the Path panel somewhere where it will be visible. If the Paths panel is available in the tabs, drag it out where it will be visible. Choose the Custom Shape tool. Shape should be chosen as the method. In the Custom Shape Settings drop-down, make sure Define Proportions and From Center are checked. Place the cursor at the center of the canvas and drag out the dog to your desired size. Then let go of the mouse. Press Ctrl A to select everything. Press V to choose the Move tool. Then press Align Vertical Centers icon. Also press Align Horizontal Centers icon. Press Ctrl D to deselect. Now your dog is centered on the canvas. Zoom in to see the dog shape better. Press shift Control n to add a new empty top layer. Name it Lines. Make the shape layer active. Control click the shape layer. The dog's outline will be selected. Choose Select, Modify, Expand, and choose a number of pixels to expand the selection. I use 12 pixels. Choose Make Work Path from Selection in the Paths panel. Make the Lines layer active. Press Ctrl T to activate the Transform tool. While holding Shift and Alt, expand the bounding box to make a larger path. Press the big check mark when done. Now press Shift, Ctrl, Alt plus T continually to repeat the outline a number of times. When done repeating, double-click the work path and save it as Path 1. This will make all the outline paths. Now right-click on Path 1 and choose Stroke Path. When the Stroke Path dialog appears, uncheck Simulate Pressure. Then click OK to accept. You can experiment with Simulate Pressure, which may give you an interesting effect. Next click somewhere on the Paths panel to complete. Press Ctrl-0 to fit the canvas to the screen. Select the Hand tool to deselect the Move tool. Next, to change the color of the dog, select the Shape layer and double-click it. When the color picker appears, choose color number 76D to D8. Make the Lines layer active. At this point we have many further options. We could add a solid color adjustment layer to the lines layer by choosing Add Adjustment Layer from the bottom of the Layers panel. 
and choosing solid color. Color picker appears. Just click OK to accept. Then right click on the color fill layer and choose create clipping mask. Now the lines will be whatever color the color fill layer is above it. What is nice about this is that you can preview how things will look with different colors. Double click the color fill thumbnail and click around various colors in the picker box. You will instantly see what the changed color will look like on the lines. In this case I didn't change the color. Another option would be to change the background color or place a gradient in the background. To place a gradient, select the background layer and add a layer above the current background. Press Ctrl Delete to fill it with white. Then add a gradient layer effect and choose the spectrum gradient. I used opacity of 100%, style of linear, angle of 90%, and a scale of 100%. You could play around with these settings to get different results. Then double click the shape layer and make the dog black to stand out better. As you can see, you have unlimited options for your design. You can vary line size, line spacing, and line color. For the background, you can use various colors, gradients, textures, etc. Your subject can be a custom shape, clip art, or a cutout image. This concludes the video. Hope you liked it.